So hi guys, so today it was a bit random, uh, I went to um, Leeds Castle, stunning hot day, 28 degrees Celsius, and as I was there, a Spitfire cruised past the actual castle itself, and I thought, oh, what's going on here? And um, basically they said to me that they fly around quite a bit because near Headcorn, so once I've been to the castle I went down to Headcorn, as you can see here. Mm -hmm and uh, there's two Spitfires there and they were both flying uh, but I got the one basically as much as possible which has the single seater which obviously got more realistic for uh, photos and things like that and uh, utilising the RX10 Mark IV so slow motion video like this at 500 frames a second and um, normal HD video as well didn't use 4K because I wanted the frame rate and obviously some seriously cool shots using the 24 frames a second burst and uh, it's also autofocus tracking abilities absolutely awesome so yeah basically I ended up getting some really cool shots really pleased um, quality of the camera is brilliant especially in light light today it was amazing the only downside I had was there was a lot of heat haze so anything more than 100 meters away there was quite a bit of heat haze especially low down on the ground um, this silhouette shot here of the Spitfire coming up through the clouds was kind of cool and this is where he came down the runway uh, around about 300 knots apparently it was going very quick uh, only around about 20 feet off the runway and uh, sort of uh, got this shot so this is my favourite one I had to shoot at a higher frame uh, sorry a higher shutter speed to basically freeze him because he was going that quick and I didn't want to miss miss the focus points so normally I would shoot at 1 2 50 for a second to get the blur like that shot there so that was at f6.3 ISO 64 and uh, 1 2 50th of a second to get the prop blur on the propellers but sometimes obviously you can't you're, you know so um, yeah another shot here of him taking off um, just really pleased on how the camera performs it's so so usable uh, these are all straight out of the camera bar a couple of little tweaks of the lighting just to make sure the, the highlights and the shadows are, are around about right but other than that nothing else has been touched I tend not to edit too much, as you know, especially on day out shots like this. There's no need. There, yeah, you can see the heat haze here. I mean, it's ridiculous. He was a couple of hundred meters down down the runway, turning around, and just could hardly see him. And the camera's still focused. I'm quite happily that the heat haze was ridiculous. Here we go, taking off. And uh, yeah, just so you can see a little bit properly. I think it was about one three twentieth of a second, something like that. So I could have slowed it down slightly for the next one. Uh, that's when he was up in the sky. Basically, this is a bit of a a time lapse of a burst, but I've cut out half the shots because there'll be too many. Um, but you can kind of see there. Uh, this is a obviously a lady doing an experience day in a biplane, which is kind of cool. But you can see the airflow over her arm has made all her skin and everything go a bit weird. That's just the air air movement. It's kind of cool. But they're probably a, yeah. Here we go. That's more of a, a sort of tree height, a small tree height as they come down the runway just cruising past waving at everyone uh, again sort of one two fiftieth of a second but he's flying a lot slower than the Spitfire was uh, this plane it was obviously doing like pleasure rides because you could see people inside like the passengers and everything um, but it worked quite nicely in black and white just a quick conversion um, and so there it looked quite cool in colour but black and white I think it was quite, quite a bit more sort of uh, punchy and then we had the um, helicopter coming in, sorry. Um, so it went to 500 frames a second slow motion. So what I've done is I've sped it back up to, to give it a good frame rate like this. Um, and then to get to a point where you just slow it back down again to the you know the slowest point of the 500 frames per second. So you get that lovely smooth. You can see all the grass where they've mowed the grass. Um, on the runway and everything, all the bits are being blown up by the chopper, which is really cool. And um, as you can see there, you slow it down, you can see it everywhere. That's at 600 millimeters at f4, so plenty of range, which is brilliant. So you can actually get so much. I mean, you know, the blades are almost stopping. I mean, if I shot it at a thousand frames a second, the blades would probably be hardly turning. So actually, 500 was ideal. Same as there, there you go. It's worked really well. The amount of stuff he was chugging up there was quite quite hilarious. Um, 
so really pleased with that how, how well that looks um, still nice and sharp uh, you do have to give it a little tweak just on the sharpness especially on the slow motion stuff because it isn't quite as obviously it's, the amount of frame rates are crazy plane taking off this is the um, the jump plane so they're doing the parachutes jumps out of it, out of it. so he goes up about 14,000 feet circles up all up to the top and then they all jump out that was taking off it was kind of cool so slow motion takeoff which worked really really well um, and then basically walking back to go and get the Spitfire shots actually and I was like what the hell is that? it's a tornado or oh, dust devil um, building I thought, oh, it's a bit bizarre so I quickly push record just to see if I can capture it and uh, yeah pretty what crazy <laughs> um, picking up rubbish and things like that. It chucked a can actually, um, which you'll see at the end. You can't <laughs> don't really see it go, but it picks up a bag of crisps there. Bag of crisps. You can see that can there. It goes round and round and round and goes. It's just gone. I actually flicked it right over the top of the, that building there, and then it hit the um, uh, the side of the hangar there and just dispersed. And it was gone. So that was kind of cool. Uh, slow motion helicopter coming in. Uh, to land so I was just trying to make the most of the slow motion stuff because I just think with propellers and stuff spinning around and something that's flying uh, this looks quite cool uh, biplane starting up so a big puff of smoke and um, we, these are all shot at just um, 100 frames a second HD these ones um, which I've then slowed down slightly because obviously you've got four times there we go so this is a um, Plane taken off, I think. I can't remember. Um, that slowed down quite a bit, but it's just lovely how smooth it is. It just yeah, for me, I, I, the slow motion thing. You, you suddenly see there's so much more going on. Um, a bit like the helicopter with all the stuff um, flying around. Um, parachute. So they they jumped out of the plane by now. So he keep, he went up. It took about 15 minutes to get up to a, the height he needed to be, and then they all jump out. This is a tandem person who's seen their first jump or like a parachute experience or something um, and then there was some single people as well um, who jumped yeah like this person here uh, and then I just had a little wander around um, the sort of aerodrome area um, there's like a restaurant there and, and a museum um, I didn't go in the museum but there was some kind of cool shots like the clouds in the sky were stunning they were just lovely and white and fluffy and you know, as you can see, that blue sky and the yellows on the plane jumps out quite nicely, so that's kind of cool. Um, so at 600 mil, zoom straight into the hangar. They're obviously repairing planes and servicing them. That guy's sat in it, obviously doing something. Um, so it's quite good to be able to have a look at those in there. You can't go in there, unfortunately. The two Spitfires sat by side by side, but you can still even see there F um, 6.3, I think it was. There's still a bit of depth difference, and they can see they're 10 feet apart or more. You can still see the further plane was slightly out of focus. Um, this plane here is obviously some kind of rescue parachute plane or something, because it's got um, red cross on the top there on the thing, and obviously parachutes are done. Um, this spy plane here is celebrating 500 years of the Royal Mail, apparently. Um, cool plane. Some of you can see there the uh, the person with the camera videoing as they go past. And this shot is I didn't even know I've captured it actually because with the bursts and everything. You can see there the, the glint of the sunshine off the windscreen. He, he banks slightly right, and uh, suddenly you could see there. This plane was obviously parked, managed to get a relatively clear shot of it, um, which is kind of cool. Um, that's probably the biggest plane I imagine they can get on the runway. So, back to where I started in the morning was at Leeds Castle, and then I saw Elizabeth, which is the, the two seater um, Spitfire, come cruising around. Uh, above the uh, the castle just there, I was actually shooting with my um, A7R3 at the time with the 14 millimeter very wide angle lens on, and this is the benefit of the RX10 Mark IV in the bag right next to me. So I literally put the A7R3 down, grabbed the RX10 out, turned it on, and zoomed in straight on the Spitfire and had it. Um, also for wildlife shots, wide angle shots, it's just you know for me um, and a lot of other people have, have bought it. Um, I know. I sort of influenced a few people to, to buy the, the camera as a pick up and go camera as such or a day out camera 
um, it's absolutely brilliant because you can get so much stuff from insects. I mean, that's a small little damselfly. Uh, it's only about two inches long. It's uh, obviously wildlife. Baby moorhen there being uh, sort of coached by its mother how to eat and things. It was, it was teaching it. Um, you know, to wide angle, 24 mil, about three or four inches away from the swan. Um, it's just looking at me. So, you know, all those sort of shots you can get. Um, you know, with ease, and uh, you know, it's that's why I love the camera. It's so so good at what it does. Um, anyway, guys, that is it for now. I um, hope that video was, you know, good for you. Um, please subscribe. Please um, click the notification bell, and uh, keep watching.